Hi, my name is Allison Chable, and I'm a Regional Extension Agent with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. Today we're going to be talking about pharmaceuticals and personal care products and ways they affect water quality in our environment. Pharmaceuticals and personal care products, or PPCPs, such as antibiotics, hormones, veterinary medicines, prescription medications, over-the-counter products, supplements, vitamins, and sunscreens are used every day in the United States. But what happens when you don't use all the medications before they expire, or you have leftover medications? For years, people were urged to flush these medications down the drain. Once flushed, these items dissolved into microparticles and mixed with the wastewater. The wastewater treatment plant, some of those microparticles sink into the sludge, but some flow through the treatment process, not being removed by standard aeration, chlorination, or dechlorination processes. This leaves the PPCP microparticles to flow out of the treatment plant and into the waterways. Here they cause problems for our wildlife such as feminization of male fish, delayed metamorphosis of frogs, and abnormal hormone levels in wildlife near treatment plants. Even more alarming, they can flow downstream and be picked up and processed through drinking water treatment plants. In 2008, the Associated Press revealed that concentrations of pharmaceutical drugs were found in drinking water supplies of almost 41 million Americans. So what's the answer to keeping our water safe? Don't flush medications down the drain. Instead, take them to drug take-back days or pharmaceutical drop boxes. They take these PPCPs and dispose of them responsibly so they won't make it back into our waterways. Visit our website for more information and a list of drop boxes around Alabama.